Hi, this is Candace, and as you've probably already heard, I spent a good portion of the day the other day with Sybil B. Hi, Sybil. And uh, we listened to Jan Gray's class, the You Can Make a Scene class, and I made a scene, an art journal page scene, rather than a card, because I needed to work on this art journal. Um, it's a, it's a mixed-media friendship journal, and so I needed to get a couple of pages done. So. And uh, first I wanted to show you something that uh, Sybil gave me while I was there, and it's so cute. Look how adorable. So pretty. Vintage. Look at that. Isn't she cute? That's a magnolia, I believe. And then look at this coffee. Friends make the perfect blend. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. I just love Sybil. Love you, girl. And then she de-stashed a couple of stamps for me, which I am so happy to have. The La La Land and Sissy Designs. Isn't she cute with the little bench and the flowers? And then this umbrella. Look at all the colors. So pretty. Okay. And then she also gave me this gorgeous piece of vintage trim. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at the color. It's it's very I don't know what what that is, almost like a khaki, but maybe a little bit darker. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And then this stuff is really cool. And we were talking about, oh, what can we do with this? And this is some sort of a trim or mesh trim ribbon. It's very cool. Almost like a tool with a so thank you, Sybil. And then I gotta show you one more thing, which I absolutely love. And that is these. <laughs> now, Sybil had bought them and she didn't like them because of the the lip right here. And yet when I put them on, they just fit so perfectly. And look at the sequins. I wore them all day yesterday. I can't show you the bottom because they're dirty already. I already dirtied them. So, I wore them all day yesterday. So here's my page. So here it is. And what, and I, of course, fall is coming, so I really wanted to do something with some fall colors. And so, we have Marcy, Irish, Irish Marcy. And she, um, I colored her with my Copics. This is actually... Um, a duplicate of it because it took me hours <laughs> so, so I'm not ready to let the original go yet but I have these really cute fence parts in the background and um, I decided to not go with a beach scene because my husband and I are just not that much on the beach so don't hate me for saying that it's just who I am I like uh, I like lakes and woods and uh, canoes on the lake and things like that so I did do the the uh, sky the same way that Jan showed in her video, except then I took some distress stain and put it on an acrylic sheet and then put this on here after it beat it up to make it look like raindrops. So, and then this little umbrella came from Sybil. She made it for me, and then this this is the Tim Holtz uh, tree dye, tree branch dye, branch tree dye rather, and I used some of that wood veneer that I have, and um, I just, it makes it so easy. And then of course I've got the sprayed papers that I punch out the, the leaves. And then the little cherry, you'll notice I did a little bit of, um, a little bit of shading to it. Because it just looked a little bit too flat for me. So there is my scene. I added this little welcome sign on her fence. So there you go. There's my scene. I've got a, 
um, Let the Rain Sing You a Lullaby by Langton Hughes. I found this on, I think it was, uh, I don't know, it's a quote, just a website that has quotes and, and thought that that was really cute. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Jan, for this class. I will leave the link below so that you can go check out our classes if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.